Hi, this is Rita Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about some planetary energies that are going to be affecting all of us. That's right, we're talking about December 2021 and an astrology energy. So kind of what's happening planetary-wise and how is that going to affect all of us, okay? So let's start out with December 1st. Um, Neptune goes direct in the sign of Pisces. And this could kind of bring in kind of like that foggy or kind of, you know, not really understanding why my motivations are the way they are or kind of getting lost in kind of like our own daydreams. Um, Neptune is the planet of dreams. And so it's kind of like I'm getting lost or I'm kind of like focusing on something else when I know I should be doing something. So this kind of just comes in to kind of um, help us figure out like our dreams from our reality and what do we really, really want to bring in. So then let's look at December 4th. That is our new moon and that's a solar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius. So this energy is coming in and this lunation is really going to be a very positive, optimistic kind of moving us forward. Um, this is a great time to kind of like, what is the new stuff? So really energetically, this is kind of like a pre kick in the behind to get us ready for 2022. So that positive energy, where do we wanna go? What do we wanna start? And if you haven't already started doing your vision boards for 2022, um, I've got a great video on that and I'll put the link down below, but this is a great one to kind of like, where do I want to go with my life? What do I want to bring into my life? Where do I want to do this? And so kind of like getting those ideas down on paper so you can figure it out, so you can decide what do you want? And think of it as kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet. What do you want in all of this? You may not want the same thing as everybody else, so this is kind of the cool part. Taking into account what do you want? Where do you want to go in your life? What do you want to do? And that's the fun part of like this uh, new moon um, in uh, and solar eclipse. So it's kind of pushing us in that in that um, direction. Um, and this is also a great time to kind of spend some time with uh, friends, especially if they're in need. I think a lot of times when people are in need, people kind of like run, like, oh my gosh, run for your life. And this is a really good time. Doesn't mean you need to do anything else, but just spending some time and just allowing them to talk things out, allowing them to kind of feel better about what's going on around them and just kind of dumping their energy a little bit. Now you want to keep yourself protected, but at the same time, allow them to go through that process. So let's talk about December 6th. Um, uh, Mars in the sign of Scorpio sextiles uh, Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn. And this is really a st very strategic uh, combination of energies. And this is all about, like I said, ambition, um, chasing our heart's desires and what do we want to bring? What do we want? What do we really, really, really want? And it's a really good time because a lot of times um, everybody's heard the phrase, uh, we are the sum of all of our friends together. That's a really great affirmation, and this is true, but sometimes we want something different. Sometimes we want something more than our friends. We want something more that's different or kind of like, I want my own thing. Like they want something and I want like that plus something else. And so this is a really good time to really think about what do I desire and what do I require in my life? It's a great time to kind of really get into that energy. December 7th, um, we have Mercury in Sagittarius Square, uh, Neptune in Pisces. Um, and there's a lot of undercurrent in this aspect, kind of pushing each other um, together. Um, this is a very highly uh, creative, imaginative. Um, however, um, you may not feel like um, you're really accurate in what you're doing. You may feel like others are judging you and you may see things kind of like really rosy and good, but it's really not. So kind of look at your motivations. And this is a really great time to kind of add that body testing. Am I really getting what I want? Am I really seeing everything that I have to see? Um, and kind of holding off your own judgment until you get the full picture of what's about to happen or what's going on. Let's look at December 8th. Um, Mars in Scorpio squares Jupiter, Jupiter in Aquarius. And um, this is like a very impulsive kind of like 
split decision. I want this and this, and I'm going to go here and then there. I'm going to do this and that. So this is kind of a really good day to kind of take some risk. It's a really good day to have some long-term strategies of where do I want to go? Where do I want to move into? Uh, what is the next action I want to take? Where is that? Where's my next action I want to take? Where's the thing I want to bring into me? Um, let's move to December 11th, and that is Venus in the sign of Capricorn, and that's conjunct to uh, Pluto in Capricorn. So it's kind of like pushing this energy together, a combination that could really boost our sex drive. Um, and it could really uh, make us kind of clingy at times and kind of like wanting more than what someone else may be able to give us or chooses to give us. So this may make people a little bit clingy. So if that happens, like know that it's kind of more of a planetary energy coming in than anything else. Um, let's see. Um, also in December 11th, we have Mercury in Sagittarius sextile Jupiter in Aquarius. And this is like um, a curiosity of what should I study next? What book should I read next? Kind of increasing this aspect. And it could be really important to study, like explore, planning, and things that you want to do in the future. And that kind of goes along with kind of our vision boards. Uh, remember, I have the link down below, but this is kind of like, what do I want to bring in? Where do I want to go with this? So let's move into December 12th. And this is our sun is in the sign of Sagittarius. And this is square Jupiter in the sign of Pisces. Um, this is kind of a yearly aspect that um, kind of really drains um, our energy and our vitality, almost like um, an energy vampire, like, oh my gosh, I'm just exhausted. So understand that that's kind of coming in at us. And this is a really great day to kind of avoid stressful situations. This is a really great day to do that um, and kind of take care of yourself. This is a really great self-care day. Let's move on to December 13th. This is when Mars um, enters Sagittarius um, for the next six weeks. And Mars in the sign of um, the archer is all about um, our quest for action, kind of adventure. Where do we want to go? And truth. And this is going to be a global aspect. I feel like we're going to see a lot of truth coming out, um, a lot of things revealed, kind of bringing to the light. And it could be um, on a personal level, it could be on a group level, it could be on a semi-group level, it could be global. You're going to see those changes coming in. Um, this is fueled, uh, fueled kind of by like our desire to travel, tra travel, go see new places, kind of the passion for what we want to do um, and kind of a great way to kind of um, take a good look at where, what do we want to put on our vision boards? Where do we want to go? What is our big thing? Where would we want to go in life? That's a really good one. Um, let's see. Also on December 13th, we have um, Mercury enter the sign of Capricorn. Um, and this is really when our communication turns into business. Um, that formal hello instead of, hey, what's going on? It's like, hello, how are we doing? Um, Mercury gets kind of that serious um, communication and enters this very responsible earth sign. And this is a great time to focus in on our reputation, um, our images, um, advancing our career. Career, what do we want at the end? Where do we want to go? What's coming up next for us? So that's a really, really good sign of like, where are we going with all of this? Um, next on December 18th, we have our full moon in the sign of Gemini. Um, this is a wonderful time to make small changes um, and really kind of communicating with family members, um, especially close ones to you. If you have uh, close family members and that's cousins or siblings that are close to your age, this is a great time to kind of communicate with them and kind of bring that energy out. Um, this could even be a great time to take small trips, something uh, within a few hours. I'm, I'm from Texas, so a few hours is lovely. Um, a small trip somewhere, kind of um, finishing projects, kind of where do we want to go with things, kind of get things finished off. And that's great for right before the holidays. Like, what else do we need to finish? What else do we need to take care of before the holidays get here? Um, let's go into December 19th and Ven Venus uh, goes uh, full retrograde. It's been in, in uh pre-shadow for a while, a couple of weeks, and now Venus goes into retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. Um, this is going to be a very uncomfortable retrograde for some people um, um, who are already kind of really unhappy with um, kind of like things have been going on, kind of like I'm not really happy with all of this, but we're going to have to deal with it for the next 40 days. Not everybody doesn't like this, but oh, there are a few people and you'll kind of just feel them just kind of... Mm -hmm. Um, not liking this energy. And it's one of those, 
um, you're going to see like really close relationships kind of being tested. Um, exes could come back, ex-friends, ex-lovers, um, ex-spouses uh, coming back up um, for a, kind of like a re-clearing of the past. Um, and this is a great time to make sure that you have really healthy boundaries at this time frame um, that you set them, especially if you've had a close relationship with someone they're used to kind of having a different barrier than everybody else. They're used to being much closer to you. And when you set those new healthy boundaries, they're like, wait, 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 I'm not used to this. I'm used to being um, at this level. And now you've put me way, way, way beneath where I'm supposed to be. So that's really important to kind of keep in um um, understanding. Also on December 19th, we have our sun in the sign of Sagittarius, sextile Jupiter in Aquarius. Um, this is kind of like a good counterbalance of intensity and energy um, going on. This is going to be a very lucky aspect. So if you're going to get a lottery ticket or you're going to try something different, call someone that you really wanted to talk to, whatever it is, this is your lucky day, uh, December 19th. Um, this is kind of a day to kind of tackle with optimism and hope um, the things that could attract uh, success and good news to us. So kind of this is a really, really good day for that. Okay, let's keep going. On December 18th, we have a full moon in the sign of of Gemini. And this can be really healing and kind of like seeking our source of kind of pain. Like, where did we get that from? Where do we have that issue from? Where did that fear come from? Where did that overindulgence or I'm not enough or whatever those bad energies are kind of going through and kind of like, where is the beginning of this? Kind of what do I need to uncover to get down to the truth in the bottom of it? And like I said, you're going to feel this because it's the moon. Um, you're going to feel this on a very personal level. Um, it's kind of like a personal um, energy. And like I said, because it's a personal level, you may see it in um, um, Hollywood people. You may see it in people that you look up to, teachers, um, that sort of thing. But you could also see it a little bit in the government, kind of like, uh, pushing kind of like, why am I saying this? Why am I, uh, where is the source of all of this? And people asking that as well. Like, where did you get this from? I got this, but where'd you get that one from? So this is going to be a great energy to kind of um, look through at this time. Let's see. Um, next we have on December 20th, we have Mercury in the sign of Capricorn, which is trine. Um, Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Um, this combination could be very exciting news in different areas, especially technology, kind of new ideas, kind of new revelation of ideas or thoughts. Um, and you may see some friendships that normally wouldn't come about kind of come in or reconnect in some way. So like I said, this is all about the new, the interesting, kind of like where are we going with all of this? So let's move on to December 20th. Um, we have a couple of them on December 20th, 21st. Um, we have um, our sun enters the sign of Capricorn and we have our winter solstice. Um, make sure you catch my videos. I will be doing videos and they'll be uh, launching on that day. So December 20th, and that's a really good day to kind of keep moving that energy forward and what do I want to draw into me. And plus they're just a great, really grounding meditation. Um, this is the shortest day of the year. Um, uh, we begin to turn our focus onto our careers, our public images, achievements um, for the next probably like three and a half to four weeks. You're going to see a lot of, of energy coming into that. What do we want to achieve? Where do we want to go? Am I in the right career? Kind of those kind of questions and kind of what's coming up next for me. Um, next, we're going to... Um, um, on December 21st, Ceres is in retrograde. Um, uh, kind of backs into Taurus, kind of like it's kind of like backing up in that retrograde energy and kind of backs up into Taurus. And Ceres is uh, being uh, backing up into the sign of the bull that could bring in, um, kind of bring out our homebody. I don't want to really go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. Um, it's also a good time to stay close to home, cooking and decorating and being affectionate with our loved ones. That's a really cool sign. I would say that's a really good time to sign, decorate some um, cookies for the holidays um, and just kind of know that you're going to feel that energy to kind of stay closer to home. I don't want to move out. I don't want to kind of go out and get in public eye. I want to be um, at home where I feel secure and safe. It's a really good energy. Um, December 24th, we have Jupiter in the sign of Aquarius, square Uranus in the sign of Taurus. And this comes in to kind of change some energies for us. And it has some really big opportunities uh, from this transit um, to kind of uh, 
what we want to do and not accepting things blindly. Like, what do we want to do or how do we want to say this? And when someone says something and it's kind of like it doesn't feel right, I guarantee you're going to be like, mm, wait, no, 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 this doesn't feel right. Whatever you just said does not connect with me. And that's a really, really important sign. Um, let's see, on December 25th, we have Venus in the sign of Capricorn conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. And so this is our third and final connection between uh, Venus and Pluto um, in this sign, and it's going to give off some major sexual energy um, in there. Um, and it could uh, do more harm than good. And it could bring people back together that really shouldn't be together. Um, and it could be, um, we're not being really good or careful with what's going on. So just know that that's some, it's some positive energy depending on what relationship you're in, or if you're kind of going back to the same old relationship, it may not be as healthy. So December 26, we have um, Mercury in the sign of Capricorn, sextile Neptune in the sign of Pisces. Um, a good aspect for picking up important information uh, by using calm, soothing words. Um, and that's kind of like that Neptune, like that dream. I'm going to talk to you very softly and lovingly. I love that energy. Um, and then it's also a great time to relax and take some creative pursuits said, if you haven't finished your vision board by December 26th, this is a great time to kind of finish that one up. Um, then we move into December 28th and Jupiter enters the sign of Pisces and it kind of backs up because it's Jupiter's right now in retrograde. So right now it's um, backing up into the sign of Pisces. Um, and this is a good sign that could help us attract good luck, opportunities, um, kind of like um, a great time to kind of like open up our intuition and our compassion energy um, and kind of like looking for things that we can do charitable wise for other people. Um, and that's kind of like that Pisces energy. I want to help other people. I'm going to be very tender and sweet. And this could be um, kind of like an aspect of our world becoming a little, a little more sweet, a little more kind to other people. Let's move to December 29th, and that is Mercury in the sign of Capricorn, conjunct Venus in Capricorn. Um, communication is very deep because you've got Mercury in Capricorn, and then you've got Venus in Capricorn. So you've got this really deep aspect of communication and finding out the bottom of things, kind of clearing things out that could have been overwhelming you before and kind of a great opportunity um, to start new proposals, um, writing them out, um, thinking about new contracts or setting new healthy boundaries and what do you want to bring in this and think about loving yourself. Venus is all about love and th loving ourselves is really important. So um, making sure that I'm setting healthy boundaries for myself, maybe not everybody else, but for me as well. Um, let's see, on December 30th, we had Mercury in Capricorn conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. Um, this also happened um, uh, at the end of 2021, it comes to an end. We are encouraged to have deep conversations about serious subjects um, while getting um, to do our core workouts and kind of ambitions and that sort of thing, kind of clearing out anything that's still stuck in there, anything that we need to open up or release from our 2021 year before we move into 2022 energy. Where do we want to go with this? What do we want to open up into? Where do we want to make changes on? And having deep conversations about really intense subjects and making sure that you and everybody else is on the same page. That's the best part. Make sure that you're on the same page. Not only uh, with what you want for your career, but for your family, uh, what does your other family members wanting to choose in? And that's a really, really great time. So basically all of December is a really great time to really finish up um, your vision boards, kind of vision, uh, kind of like, what do I want to draw on me? Where do I want to go with this? That's the really cool part. Um, and kind of working on it now is going to help you and assist you moving into a great 2022. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.